Rob, 4-2 win today. Wrap up the regular season against a good Portland team who's among the leaders in the conference. A lot of good performance today. Just bearing on the mound since the two-third really strong innings. And then first career home runs from Tyler Martinez and J.T. Amaral. Just overall, your thoughts on the afternoon? Uh, yeah, it was pretty cool to see those guys who, uh, JT especially, it's been up and down with playing time and uh, basically to get the game-winning homer. But Tyler setting the table inside the park home run. Then I told him uh, it's cooler if you hit it over the fence, and he hit the next one over the fence. But uh, and Jesse and Weston were awesome. It's just fun. Uh, I, you know, it's bittersweet. It's always bittersweet on the last day. Uh, you got everybody's family there, so the kids are probably feeling both pressure and anxiety for playing your last game if you know it's your last game. But all in all, it's great to go out with a win and have a good feeling going into the offseason and good things happen for some good people out there today. Now, first pitch of the game, they hit for a home run and they were able to scratch one more across the top of the first, and you guys hold them that almost off the scoreboard the rest of the way. What did you see from Jesse as he was able to settle in and just get through six and two thirds? Yeah, with Jesse, that's what we always get. You know, he's rarely had a bad performance this year. He usually gets us six, seven innings and gives us a chance to win. And uh, pitching twice this week, but he wanted to pitch, you know, and that says a lot about who he is. Uh, I'm really going to miss watching him compete on the mound and give us everything he's got every week. But uh, Jesse Barron is set up for great success in life just because of the person he is. So um, it kind of translated onto the mound all year long from what I saw of him. It was just great for, for the team today. Now, Tyler has been someone who's hit over 300 for most of the year and has had a pretty strong offensive season, but to see him be able to leave the yard twice and just get his first two career collegiate home runs, what, is it, what does that mean for you, especially for someone who's enjoying his senior day playing baseball for the last time here at USF? I mean, it means everything because, as I've said a lot of times, I just like when really good things happen for really good people, and Tyler Martinez is one of those people. He does whatever coaches ask him to do. He runs around. He's there every day. He's graduating with a great uh, high GPA. He goes to he would run right from class on Thursdays in the fall to get to the second half of practice. So uh, to see those people get rewarded by a game that's really hard is awesome. And then kind of like an out-of-body experience for someone who's not a home run hitter per se to do that on, you know, senior day in front of his family. So uh, cool things happen in the sport sometimes. I'm really happy for him. And you touched on Weston, two and a third, all didn't allow a run. Was able to shut the door late, got a big out in the seventh after Jesse Strand to run around base. Just, what did he mean to your pitching staff as a whole this season with his versatility and ability to multiple innings and even start and then finish games for you? Well, Weston meant a lot on the field, as you saw. We always asked him to get the most crucial outs of most close games this year, whether it was in the beginning or end of games. But I think his most value was off the field and in the bullpen and a lot of younger pitchers out there or guys that are just transferred here first time through this level of baseball. Um, there's not a person on this team that you ask about Weston would have anything to negative to say about him. Uh, meeting his family for the first time today, you can see how he was brought up and how he was raised. Um, I think he truly appreciated his time out here, and it, he let that bleed onto the mound for him, and he left everything he could out there for us. Uh, pretty much, I, I could guarantee most of our wins had some combination of Jesse and Weston on the mound, so uh, that's all you need to know. They, they were a lot of the reason we got any wins out there this year. Looking back on here, your first season here on the Hilltop of 2023, it wasn't the best wins and losses in the program has ever had, but obviously you're in your first year, set the standard for your new program. What were the things that you remember from your first year here at USF? Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're in the building block stage, and I know we've had better records in the past, but we're, we're trying to build to a place where we've never been before, and that's going to take time, effort, energy on everyone's part. But honestly, this is a very memorable year, uprooting my family, moving to the West Coast. This will always be the first team that helped me with that transition, and uh, I'll remember a lot of the ups and downs, like I told the team after the game, and hopefully you learn from the downs and you, you remember, remember a lot of good things about the ups. But uh, a lot of our wins were in pretty special fashion, close games, late innings, walk-off home runs, walk-off hits. So uh, it's hard to pinpoint exact moments, but there were some cool road trips. There were some tough times that we had to get through, and sometimes you learn more from adversity than the positives. But we had a good mix of all that, and I'll, I'll remember these guys for all they did for that. Thank you.